to do this? Why did you want to have all these guys here today and host this summit? What was behind it in your mind? Well, I feel like a lot of times NFL rookies don't really get the real. And we wanted to give them, you know, extended information opposed to what they're getting from the NFL. We wanted to give them an extended hand, an extended brotherhood, and let them know that we're here for them to teach them more about things that they're going to be going through and things they should be prepared for. So, and what better way to do it than to have, you know, myself, some NFL players, some icons, some personalities that can come out here and really give you some information that, you know, is going to be worthy to you when you're doing what you're doing out here, trying to progress as an NFL rookie to become, you know, a real NFL star. So. That's why I wanted to put this event together because I'm so close to these kids that I coach in my league and a lot of those guys are going to the NFL. So I feel like it's my duty to reach back and to do what I'm doing today. The, the whole reason we work with Snoop is because of the youth football league he just talked about. So it was really um, that authenticity of that connection with him, sorry, with him enabled us to really work with a guy who took culture and was such an icon in his own right but allowed us to create a, a new universe with him and now he's saving all these kids lives through sport when everybody see me i, I know i got a couple people out there probably like hey hey this is how to turn it up you know but it's like everybody just see my energy and they know that i'm gonna bring i'm gonna bring just joy and just happiness to the area you know what i'm saying there's nowhere near negative energy when you look at me when they see my instagram you did when is the right time to post and not post on, on social media? Like, when can we get away with things? And you guys, and especially for, for the rookies out here listening, let's, let's take advice from some veterans. Don't post nothing on your teammates, you know? <laughs> That's just like some stuff you should just know not to do, you know? <laughs> I have a business manager, but I manage my business, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like you gotta understand what's going on and you're gonna use other people that are much smarter than you to kind of learn what they know so you can know how to deal with the next situation. And I think that's how you start off by building a good core team and then you learn from those people. If you're not always learning, you're in trouble. If you can free yourself from the idea that meat has to come from a chicken, cow, or pig, and instead to think about meat as a composition of amino acids, lipids, minerals, and water, you can then start to make really great meat because you can make meat that has no cholesterol. If you're an athlete and you're gonna get paid for it, you're getting paid to stay in shape. So think what it's like if you stay in tip-top shape. You LeBron money. It's not rocket science, but a lot goes into sacrificing to be great, but life is much better when you're great. Credit is so important. God forbid something were to happen to me or my family or anything, I know I can go get a line, a personal line of credit for a million, just listen. Do not mess up your credit. Get to know the people on the other side of your partnerships because um, it really goes a long way. What would you like when it's all said and done your legacy to be? I want my legacy to be um, one who was known to diversify his portfolio. You know? Why is that important to you? Because that's what I've been doing my whole career. I've been treating it just like a business. I've been venturing off into different businesses and creating other lanes and keeping my brand alive and moving it and shaping it and keeping it what it's supposed to be. That's diversifying your portfolio. In the business world, in the Fortune 500 company world, that's what that would be considered. So that's what my legacy is because that's how I conduct my business. That's how I conduct my get out. And that's what I want to be known for. So.